Hi everybody, I just wanted to give a formal apology for the weird lighting. I'm in kind of tight quarters in my house right now. And I wanna apologize if you could hear any noise my neighbors are having a little birthday party, so it's a little bit loud outside. Since October is Spanish Heritage Month, I thought it would be fitting to honor my own heritage. So for my theme, I chose Hispanic female artists. There are so many amazing and talented Mexican artists. And so I wanted to go over five of my favorite Mexican artists and just go a little bit beyond only Frida because that is really all that you see. Maria Izquierdo holds the title of the best Mexican contemporary artist. She was married at a very young age. She was married at 14 and she became bored with her life after having three kids at a very young age. She decided to start taking classes for sculpting and painting and she immediately fell in love with art. Soon after, she landed her own ex exhibition and she became the first woman to ever have a solo exhibition. Many of her pieces could easily be defined as surrealism, but she rejects that title and she sticks to contemporary art. Rosaria Cabrera, which is fun because that's my cousin's last name, was among one of the first modern female painters in Mexico. She studied art and she received one of the highest grades in her class because of her amazing skill. She portrayed great skills in etching, painting, and sculpting. And because of this accomplishment, she received a medal with her diploma for being outstanding in art. Natalia Hurtado is the mother of Mexican photography and she's been considered to be one of the pioneers of female photography altogether. In a time where women were supposed to just be predominantly mothers and caregivers, she decided that she wanted to pursue her dream of photography and she took her passion far in her career. She opened up a workshop which ended up being one of Mexico's first woman owned workshops and she invented a technique of printing pictures on flowers and leaves and she would incorporate nature and beautiful substances into her photography. Natalia focused most of her work on portraits and she would mainly take photos of women. This all the portraits she took helped to popularize portraiture gain in Mexico. Elena Huerta Musquez was a Mexican muralist in Mexico. She would do amazing murals and her goal was always to give power back to the people and her murals were often pretty controversial. She often included male Mexican activists in her murals and a lot of the time she would do really inspiring pieces of woman empowerment. Elena actually belonged to a communist party and spent some years with the Soviet Union with her family. Her and her husband divorced there and she raised her kids on her own and built her career simultaneously. At 65, Elena painted a mural that was almost 5,000 feet. And to this day, it stands the largest mural ever painted by a woman which is a pretty common theme throughout all of these women. They are constantly breaking goals, setting goals. A lot of these women are pioneers in art and it's, it's a little bit mind blowing about how little recognition they get. I don't think they're talked about nearly enough and I'm glad that I'm able to shed light on some of these amazing women that deserve that recognition. Aurora Reyes Flores is the pioneer of muralism for women. She was the first Mexican muralist and she had very similar ideas as Maria Izquierdo. A lot of her murals had deep political meaning in them and she was always trying to send a message. Just like Maria Izquierdo, she often had feminist ideas in her murals. My favorite painting of hers is a woman dressed up like a warrior but she's holding a baby so we know that she's a mom and that's exactly what moms are they're warriors for their families and i think that's such an inspiring piece 